Uh, my name is Frank DiCrescenzo. This is my sister Lori DiCrescenzo, uh, one of my son's friends and one of my basketball players, Alex Raker. We got my nephew Tom Daly, Frank DiCrescenzo, my son, all eighth graders. Uh, Brandon Lumen, one of my son's best friends who lives in my house as well. Um, my nephew uh, Aiden DiCrescenzo, he's an eighth grader as well. William DiCrescenzo Daly, William Daly, sorry, he's a uh, eighth grader as well. Um, Alexander DiCrescenzo and Evan DiCrescenzo, and then this is my youngest son Giovanni DiCrescenzo and my wife Adele DiCrescenzo. Sure, um, I was diagnosed with uh, chronic kidney disease, uh, renal kidney disease, stage four, uh, stage five. Sorry, um, about three years ago, after a um, basketball injury, I actually got playing in a faculty basketball game. I um, tore up my ankle and I had to have surgery on it, and because of that. The result of that was a high blood pressure that couldn't get controlled and um, a combination of that and some previous creatinine levels that were really high um, it affected my kidneys negatively and started taking away my function from my uh, kidneys and unfortunately due to that over a period of two years um, we went down to enough kidney function that I actually had to start dialysis um, so dialysis I was in the center having um, dialysis done for three nights a week for about seven months when they decided they wanted to move me to the at home type of dialysis. So I've been doing that ever since for the last year and a half, two years now. And uh, right now I'm on the kidney transplant at Albany Medical Center and I'm looking forward to getting the kidney transplant. The marathon dance is really something that I, you know, the way that's going to help me out is we've been accumulating massive amounts of bills over the last couple of years as far as like, meta, you know, between all the doctors, appointments, medicine, uh, hospital bills and everything like that, um, just giving us the opportunity to get back on our feet and, um, you know, to be able to get back as far as, you know, replenishing different um, accounts and things like that and also making sure that we can actually pay the bills that are coming up in the future because between waiting for the kidney transplant I'm still on dialysis and still making those payments and we still have to wait for the kidney transplant itself and, you know future costs and things like that will really help us be able to come back as a family and be able to do things. Well I want to add too though the good thing about Marathon is it's so widely known now that it gets the word out about organ donation right? A lot of people don't realize that you can be a living donor and they don't realize what it takes to be a living donor or there are people in need you know most times people think oh dialysis you know there's just old people no it can really happen to anyone so you know the, the stretch of marathon really is also informative and can teach people about organ donation as well So, they caught me when I was driving home. <laughs> I was actually on the phone when you guys called me. And um, yeah, it was, uh, I, I honestly didn't expect it at all. Um, you know, uh, I, 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 I didn't know anybody had actually put me in. So it was kind of like, I got a phone call and like, I believe I was talking with you and um, you know, it was just one of the, I, 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 was, I was crying, I was laughing, I was, you know, it was one of those things that, you know, you don't expect and you have, you know, and I, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, <laughs> it, it was something that, because when I actually, I used to actually work in South Bend Falls and I was here back in 2003 to 2006 and, you know, I used to help out with the marathon dance as well and raising money and everything. And just to have your name called, you know, I mean, I know that when you, you and the students back then used to pick it, it was like one of the best, you know, it was the hardest decisions for you guys to choose who to pick. And to have your name called and have somebody call you and say, hey, by the way, you have really decided to help you out. It was just that amazing feeling that, you know, you decided, you know, that I was worth that, you know, that opportunity to actually help out and help out my family. And to, you know, that, that was the biggest thing was, you know, I want to make sure that my family is taken care of and that everybody in my family is, you know, and when you guys called, it was just that giving me that opportunity to actually be able to help take care of them again and get everything back on track the way we had it before all this started. 
So like, I was excited. I was, you know, you get all these mixed up emotions, you get all these feelings and you're just like really, really happy at the end of it. And, you know, I called my wife and I was like, hey, and she's like, no, they didn't do anything, you know? And I called my sister and they were like, you know, trying to figure out who is, and you know, who invite, who actually um, put my name in. And it was like, you know, great, you know, and everything, you know, and found out that my sister actually nominated me. And, you know, it was like one of those things that you just really, really overjoyed. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody for their time, their effort, their continued support of everybody in the community, about all the organizations, not just me, of everybody that's been, all the recipients that are receiving everything. Um, the fact that you guys take look out for people in the community and that you're taking care of the people in the community and you keep on working as hard as you do when you don't have to. The volunteerism is amazing. The community is amazing. You guys do a great job. We appreciate everything that you guys do. You guys are working really hard for everything. And we just hope that over the next, you know, this is going to last forever and we'll just keep on continuing as long as we can to participate and help you guys out as much as we can. So we really appreciate everything that you guys are off doing, the hard work you're putting in, and thank you so much. There's nothing really that we can say. We can't thank you enough for what the opportunity has been for, you know, helping us with this, with this process. Thank, thank you, you dancers. dancers. Go, Go Bulldogs! Bulldogs.